early on, NASA thought, had a, had a vision here of doing government contracting in a different way. And that way is, they have lumped it under this term commercial, uh, and they've had a number of programs. The first was the Commercial Resupply Services Program, which started out with uh, thinking about how would private sector uh, deliver cargo to the uh, International Space Station. Uh, SpaceX has been a part of that program. Uh, we've thought it, it's worked very well. Uh, it's a model that uh, we think uh, NASA has successfully implemented, and we think the federal government ought to think about writ large, in that they offer pri the private sector uh, fixed price, milestone payments, things that uh, uh, tell us what the vision is, where they want to go, and then they ask the private sector what are the best ways to implement that vision. And so uh, as we developed our program at SpaceX, we developed a rocket and we developed a capsule, uh, and those are both in use right now for uh, delivering cargo to the International Space Station. NASA is furthering that idea with the idea of launching astronauts. Uh, and so they have the uh, commercial crew program ongoing currently, and they're thinking about ways to uh, take U.S. astronauts uh, to the International Space Station. Currently, uh, we're in the news this week, apparently, with uh, relations between the United States and Russia. And uh, we pay uh, the Russians uh, quite a bit of money to launch our astronauts to the space station, over $70 million per seat. And we think, there, and we think uh, at SpaceX and we think at NASA, there's an American way to do that, there's a better way to do that. Uh, and we're developing that uh, with a partnership with NASA. And so uh, we think this new way of doing business with government contracting is, is a great benefit. 